so good morning guys um welcome to this um, video tutorial um, and it's all about trying to log into your WordPress um, admin dashboard and you're having difficulties so probably you're you're trying to log into your um, WordPress dashboard and you are receiving a message like this let me show it to you it's it's a quick one just follow the steps one after the other so let's say you're trying to log into your wordpress um dashboard like this like mine now and you are receiving a message like this you you will never be able to log into your dashboard if you are receiving a message like this each time you come back to log into the dashboard this is still the same message you'll be getting there has been a critical error on this website please check your site admin email inbox for instruction and the funny thing is that you won't even be able to access your admin email you don't even know how to access it you won't even know how to access it your admin email that's the email the admin email which you probably saw while you are trying to register your um not even your website not trying to register while you are trying to create your um softaculous wordpress app if you can remember a stage where you have to put your um site name your site description the password um for the admin login the admin username the admin password and several other things before Word wordpress now set up your dashboard for you so that is the admin email in, uh, email they are requesting for so for you to even be able to access the admin email you can't even access it not to now talk of um seeing the mail probably the um, instruction mails sent to you so you won't, you won't even be able to access the admin inbox talkless of seeing the email so this is now the step by step by step guide i'll be showing you on how to resolve this issue and this guide now suits those that are um, using namecheap as their hosting sites so namecheap i don't know of any other sites but for namecheap this process should work so what you do now is open a new tab this way yeah type in namecheap.com namecheap.com okay so you sign into your namecheap account as you can see i already have my login details pre-filled so i'll click on sign in this way okay it's loading just a little bit of time it's still early morning okay it's asking me to verify my um code the code sent to my email this is very security purpose anyways so i'll be doing that very quickly so guys we're back i just dashed into my um gmail inbox to copy the verification code so I have it here right now I'll be pasting it here so this is it then I would submit I should be logged in now let's see it's loading yeah I'm in I'm in so my name chip dashboard is loading up okay it's fully loaded so the next step now is you scroll down you come to this recently active in your account then this um, middle icon here which is um, a representation of server like hard disk just scroll down click you are going to your cpanel click this cpanel click on it it opens a new tab and redirects you to your cpanel so let's just wait it's loading a bit okay i've been able to access my cpanel now and um for those of you that i've not probably i was able to access it straightforward just because i've logged into my cpanel maybe once and the um login information has been saved the login information has been saved so for some people following this tutorial the pop-up might request you to sign into your cpanel so it requests for your username and your password your cpanel username and password so just impute it and sign into your cpanel so once you arrive here next thing you want to do now is you have to locate the php my admin app here and 
in order to save you the stress of searching through just come up here define function quickly by typing click on the search bar type php my admin this is it then you click on it now what this does is the php my php my admin um hub takes you into your mysql server mysql database base so mysql database is where your um, wordpress information is the site you've been building every other everything you are doing on your website is being stored in this database which is called my sql my sql so and you can only access your database my sql database through the php my admin so what you are going to do now is you click on this my P uh, php my admin so just click on it this way it takes you to your database system will direct you in a moment so you've arrived this is your database as for me this is my database so what you now do is you look at the top left corner you see this just follow this my mouse um harrow look at this we have information schema olu sikim so 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 we have this the reason we're having this two year is that i have um my domain and i have a subdomain you understand so this is for my domain this is for my subdomain for those of you watching this tutorial now you might probably be having a website so you would have just one like this you might not even have this but in case you have this then the next one beneath this information schema should be your website database but because in this situation i have um a website domain and i have a subdomain created and my subdomain is um olushaladaniel.com slash store which is this i believe this is olushaladaniel.com the subdomain is slash store which is this folder this particular one so what you do here now is you click on your own um database folder but in this case i'll be clicking on my subdomain database folder just because i'm having problem logging into my subdomain wordpress dashboard hope you guys get that now so i'll be clicking on it now it's loading so the next thing you want to do now is on this um left hand side you see all these listed um, values let me call them values are the directories for your um what's it called your website um wordpress do you get it they are the links they are the directories to everything you are doing on your website via wordpress so what you need to do here now is you look for so, um, a value called or an option name called option among these things it is called option whatever it is that ends with option either w wp slash options anything to just look for it scroll down i'll be scrolling down now searching through searching through this way searching through okay we found it okay 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 this is it so it has to be underscore option wp something under underscore options so just click on it this way it loads up on this wing this side you see it has loaded now so the next thing you do here is you scroll down first of all you sort by option name because this is the value we are looking for is on this colon is on this colon the value we are looking for is on this colon so you first sort sort by name sort by name so now the value we are looking for is what we call active plugins so active plugins active plugins and what are we doing with the active plugin we are disabling it so your inability to log into your website here is probably caused by some plugins that you have installed or the team you installed for your wordpress you understand so what we have to do now is firstly we have to disable all plugins to now try to access the wordpress dashboard if it's going to um login so let's go back to the php my admin um tool so here now the option name we are looking for active plugin active plugin 
so we scroll down we scroll down okay nothing like active plugin we go to the next page here. click on this it's loading up then we scroll down keep looking for active plugins now we can locate it can you see it active plugin this is it here active plugin so what do we now have to do what we have to do is this option name active plugin we have to re remove the option value you can see under the colon here option value so you come to active plugins look at the option values here you remove all these options and how do you do that you double click on this double tap it you copy all control all like this then you delete first now you'll be pasting a value here i'll show you the value now and i'll be dropping it somewhere in this video probably on the screen or check the um, description section so you'll be i will show you a, a um a value to copy and paste here so let's let's just go there now look at this value exactly this way nothing should change so copy this value this way copy it then come back here inside this um, dialog box you paste it like this active plugin then you paste it you click on the enter button is installing it you see one row affected okay that is solved now so let's now go back to uh, um, admin um, WordPress dashboard WordPress admin dashboard so we initially having this problem of logging in so what we now do is let's open on a new tab a new tab this way let's try to log in once more once again so i'll be typing in my domain first slash my subdomain in this case you might not have a subdomain it might just be your domain which is so 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 so, so dot com you understand in this case i have a, i have a subdomain so adding being i'm trying to resolve this issue on my domain it will have been ulushaladaniel.com but i'm trying to resolve this issue on my subdomain so let's put it this way ulushaladaniel.com which is my domain slash store which is my sub subdomain then wp minus admin which is your um wordpress admin um, login website so click on the enter button this way it's loading up can you see boom we're able to access our wordpress admin dashboard as easy as that so simple so that means the issue we were having before i didn't close the page this is the page here the issue we were having before not being able to log into our wordpress admin dashboard was caused by some plugins that we installed do you understand they were the issue was caused by the plugins that we've probably installed probably one of the plugins crashed you understand so we've been able to resolve this issue following the steps i showed you previously so let's go back to the resolved tab this is it here we've been able to access our wordpress admin dashboard as you can see it's a subdomain for my store so you can do whatever you are like here yes so what you have to do now is you go to the plugin probably you should see all the plugins disabled as you can see all the plugins activate 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 so the value this value that i copied and pasted here yeah this place that value disabled all the plugins i have installed on my website i hope you understand now so the ability to be able to disable all these plugins made us gave us the access to um, the opportunity to access our um, WordPress admin dashboard again. I hope you understand that. So as you can see here, obviously it was the plugins that were causing the um, the our inability to log into our WordPress admin dashboard. So they are all disabled now. Maybe you can try activating some of them back if they are still going to work. And if you are still experiencing that kind of problem, you can just follow the step to deactivate the plugins then you start reinstalling your plugins afresh but right now you can just try activating the ones you still have 
then if you encounter the problem again then you have to just disable and start reinstalling your um what's it called your um plugins one after the other so that's it guys i hope this video is helpful and i hope it's has added um, a bit of value to you and it has added to your knowledge as well do us a favor to like this video and to subscribe to this channel thank you